No, you gotta. <laughs> All right, Dad. I told you. I should I know. <laughs> okay. Hello, and welcome to another day with the Norps. Um, we've skipped forward a little bit, so we just got back from our trip with the kids to Williamsburg, and now we're actually getting ready to leave again, but this time it's just Megan, me, and Elijah, because we're going on his senior trip. And I don't think, I don't think we've actually shared where we're going yet. Um, we've given some hints on Instagram, and some people have guessed, but we are headed to Iceland and we're super excited about it. Um, we're getting packed up and uh, are excited to get going, but we still have to finish packing and get out the door, so it's a little bit crazy around here right now, but uh, let's go. Megan is getting some shoes ready. We have our bags, which we're continuing to pack. This is kind of a struggle, or we've never done this, where we just take a carry-on for international travel. Yeah. So we're seeing if we can pack everything we need for four days in a 35 liter bag. Which wouldn't be hard if we were going somewhere warm. So it's true, it wouldn't be so bad if we weren't going somewhere cold. Or wet. And possibly wet. We got gear to layer up with. We've got rain type clothes to put on if we need to. We also have to wear, we have to pack swimsuits as well for this little journey. So as far as leaving the kids here, we've got someone coming. They're gonna be here with the kids. Um, to take care of them, so it's someone we know from church. Um, so they're gonna be here with them, taking care of the kids. We got all the groceries the kids need. Gonna leave money for our babysitters in case they need extra stuff, so they should all be covered. <laughs> Another thing is hiking boots take up a lot of room. I thought of wearing them, but then I was like, oh my gosh, it is so hot here today. I do not want to have hiking boots on. Well, also, you don't want to wear them in a plane. They, they're just big and no. bulky. And like, yeah. So I'm just trying to see if I can fit them in. Okay, you're feeling good so far? You got Yeah, I am all feeling. Your stuff I in? woke up this morning and was pretty dang jazzed about what we're doing. Okay, so we're going to Iceland. So there, that means there's beautiful things to see and do, and, and that requires camera equipment to capture it all. So we have to pack the drone. This camera I'm holding right now, we, it's just using our um, phones, the video is not going to cut it. Um, it all takes up space, so yeah. The saga continues. Megan, did you show them what oils you're taking? Did I? I don't know. I, I wasn't here. I didn't know if you grabbed the camera. No, I didn't. I, I showed them on Instagram, though. Okay. Do you want me to show them here? Yeah, let's see what you're taking, okay. in case people at home are curious about what oils we take with us? Oh, we have oils everywhere. It's a problem. I need I need somebody to help me organize. We need someone who can organize for us. But. Peppermint for jet lag, motion sickness, maybe, I don't know if the elevation is different. Past tense for headaches. Lavender for any sort of burn or sting. Um, or allergic reaction. Yeah. Or for relaxation. Or just for any sort of skin soothing you might need. Blue tansy for healthy skin. It's Get part of my skincare. Wild orange, because it makes me happy. Uh, Digestin, in case our tummies have any problems, any sort of digestive issues. Deep blue for pain, inflammation. Soreness. Yep, frankincense for um, just overall health. You can put it on your spine. Correct X, injuries. Whoa. It's like all natural neosporin, essentially. Um, serenity for sleep. Terra shield for bugs, mosquitoes and whatnot. On guard, hand sanitizer, and then I'm bringing Dream. It's a blend for my perfume. Okay, so the next question people are going to ask is, what about carrying that on a plane? Does the does TSA I, get after you for that? I just pull this out. I don't even put it in a baggie and put it through. None of them are too big, and then I just put it through. Got that sweet little like carrier thing for him. Yeah. All right, I just realized it's one thing to say, oh, I'm totally packed, I'm good, when it's in this state, all open, easy. <laughs> and then I did this, 
<laughs> it's like uh, there's a bit of a gap there. I'm gonna have to. Doesn't look like it's gonna close. I'm gonna babe. have to lay on top of it. Here, that's my trick. <laughs> oh, that makes me nervous. Like Yoda. <laughs> Zip, I will. <laughs> Let's see here. I gotta use the force. You did it. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Woo! Woo! Now put it on. How heavy is that thing? Well, I don't know. It doesn't really. I think do carry-ons matter. How no, I just they matter for your pack. I think we're packed, right, Megan? I hope so. Since we're leaving in a half hour, let's go see it, Rags. Let's see what they look. Oh, also, look at this room. How much cleaner it looks. Look at what a nice job Dad did leaving towels out. The towels out for. I was for, editing uh, a vlog while you did. Megan that. was editing, doing important work. And uh, yeah, the room is pretty much ready to go, so it doesn't look too messy for our visitors. I wanted to also tell you, one of my best friends from high school is working for this company. It's like a new uh, activewear company. Activewear. And they have like leggings and, well, activewear. And I was like, <laughs> oh, well, why not just get them at Target? But I wanted some leggings for Iceland. I went and tried on a million pair. I got some on Amazon. And then I finally caved and got some of hers, and they are incredible. They have like pockets. what's so incredible, Megan? Well, they like actually fit your iPhone. This is oh. not an ad. I bought them, but they like just all the seams. They're super comfortable. They like hold you in really nice. They have a high waist, but they um, aren't too tight. Yeah, and they just feel good. So they're called Zia. I'll put a link down to her Instagram. My friend Sweet. Kathy. Sweet. Here's our bags. Ready to go, they are matching. So we're gonna have to be careful we don't get them mixed up, but I think that's everything we're taking right there. Getting up to the car. Mom's ready to go, she's got 20 million things she's carrying. <laughs> no problem. You guys want help? I can help carry Andrew, why don't you grab mine there? This one? Yeah, but it looks like I'm like the old prospector with all the stuff hanging off my bag. <laughs> hey, you get a little I just need a little, I need a pickaxe and a shovel. And Maybe a, wear, wear a lantern? And a, like a metal canteen. Ooh boy, it is hot out here. I think it's, I'm, I'm kind of happy we're going to be in, um, <laughs> it's we're going to be in Iceland. It's, it is hot and humid today. All right, Megan, it's time to go. <laughs> you got to say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. 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 Later. Bye. It's okay. You guys will be just fine, okay? Bye. 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 I want to go in the wings. Okay. Give Mama a hug. Yeah. Mama, Let's watch. Mommy hug me and you're like, be sad. Could you be happy? I guess we gave permission to watch the movie while we're gone. Well, you know. Jude, like as soon as he heard, he didn't even hug me and goodbye. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Like movies, TV. I'm out of here. We never get movies during the week. Okay, Ash, I haven't hugged these two yet. Or mm -hmm. I don't have to hug him. Yeah, I love you. Elijah does need a hug every once in a while. Love you. Have a good, good week. Ones. See ya, everybody. Ash, uh, Daddy, have a good week. Need it, oh, yeah. Yeah. See ya. Soon we're gonna be. Be good, okay? Where are you gonna sign up? That's awkward. Good. All right. There we go. Oh, that's like picture hug. You gotta, no, you gotta do this thing now. Okay. He hugged you though. Bye, Dabba! Bye, Dabba! Bye, Dabba! Love you. Have a good day. Okay. One more hug? Okay. Mom, I'll miss you a lot. I'll miss you too. But think someday you get to go on a special trip with Mom and Dad too. I have to have as many right. hugs as you can. Bye, bye! That's it. Thank you, Elijah, for that. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, it's kind of blowing all of our minds. Woo! That we're going to Iceland we're going today. We're going, baby. I'm just right now. I'm going through my head like everything that I'm hoping are like. Okay, I pack that. I pack that. Where's the pack? Okay, there it is. I don't ever. Running do that. an inventory. I, I, I'm thankful that you do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not do doing that? it for you though. So. I know, but I'm still thankful you do it. No, I don't do that. Dad, did you no, ever pack my toothbrush? I, you shoved it in something, right? No, it was on our. Huh. You already borrowed mine, I guess. It was on. It was on your, your dresser in the white oh, thing. Oh, okay. Um, I didn't really have room for it, anyways. <laughs> yeah, it was room for a toothbrush. Um, but I think we only trans planned this trip like four weeks ago. It was a little over a month. I think we booked. The kind tickets. of last minute. We've been going all. We decided to do a senior trip for Elijah like 
few months ago. So you know what, we should do a senior trip for every kid. I guess it wasn't a few months ago, it was last year. We said we should do a senior trip for each child before they leave that go with just mom and dad. Now obviously we homeschool, so it's not like a senior in high school, it just means before they're leaving home, they get to go on a trip alone with mom and dad. Probably sometime in their 17th or 18th year. We had a few stipulations, we said, we can only be gone a week because we have other kids and mom and dad are, both want to go. So we can't be gone longer than that. And that means if we go to like Asia or somewhere really far away, we're gonna use up a lot of that week in just the air. And then you're gonna have jet lag. And so we kind of said, let's try to keep it in our hemisphere. And we also kind of had a budget, financial budget, which it usually takes care of itself pretty well by staying in our hemisphere, unless you're gonna go like to the Galapagos Islands or something. We just said somewhere in this area. North America. North, Central, Europe. South America. And then a little, you know, maybe. Iceland's pretty close. So yeah, and maybe the Western coast of Europe or something. So, and so we actually don't really have a very specific. No, like <laughs> I know, but then, you know, Elijah was kind of overwhelmed at the choices, weren't you? I was, yeah, I couldn't pick anywhere had so many options. Um, so ultimately we said, do you want us to decide? And Elijah said, yes. So we ultimately just said, you know what? I know you, I know what you love. You don't like to be hot. You love like amazing natural right. wonders. And you also like dark, wet places. Like the Oregon coast. Right. Like the, he, like the Oregon coast. And Elijah we, had. but we'd already been to the Oregon coast. And I thought, well, it's kind of like an epic trip. Your last, you know, so. I said, you want to go to Iceland? And he wasn't sure, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, at first it was just, I wasn't excited about it because I didn't know like anything about Iceland. Um, I never really thought about it. But? But, um, after researching a little bit, Iceland is amazing and I'm really excited now. Um, it's like the most photogenic place on earth, so yeah. Kind of like me. Yeah, most photogenic man on earth in, in the, the most, most photogenic, photogenic place, place on earth. So we better get a lot of shots of me in the frame, you know, like with the other photogenic things. Just, just <laughs> so that that was we so will funny. be. I forgot to laugh. <laughs> Welcome to the next five days of your Sorry. life. Sorry. Um, and what we've also decided to do is to stay on our local time because it's not getting dark in Iceland. This is the week of summer solstice, so it'll be light 24 hours a day. And so we thought what better way to utilize that than to stay up until Iceland's four in the morning and go and see all these places when most people are in bed. Um, definitely there's gonna be less people when you're out of sight at two in the morning and the lighting's so. gonna be really cool because the sun goes down but it stays like dusk for like two to four hours, I can't three remember how long, hours. three hours. Um, and sort of beautiful lighting too. So that's a good idea, right? Yeah. Okay, it's so warm out here. It is hot, baby. You gotta get out of here. Get, go somewhere cold. You gonna get it on there? <laughs> okay. There's also a nice, nice. First part of our journey, walking across the parking lot. Trekking across the parking lot. Okay, we're already like, having an adventure, not really, but it took forever for the shuttle to come, and then it was like packed. It feels like that was the only shuttle for the entire airport. The um, last, it was the last chop ride of Saigon, right. man. So, we're just getting here a little bit later than we expected, but it's, I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, we don't have to check back, so we're good. That's true. Okay, so here's the current status. Status? His we the status. flight is so delayed that status. we missed our connecting flight to Rick. Hey, Sansoma, if you're leaving the aircraft, please have him boarding pass, boarding pass, so the agent can scan you off the aircraft as you exit. We missed it totally. The next flight to Reykjavik from New York City on Delta is not until tomorrow night. It's still a red eye. So I got off the plane to talk to them. And I tell you what, they took good care of us. They because you were you were such a charmer. Mm -hmm. What's the name? Yep. No, they um, 
made it so that we get to have a free day in New York City because they're paying for us to stay in a hotel tonight. And then they extended our trip in Reykjavik another day, so we still have just as much time in Iceland as we did before, but now Daniel Manhattan. Manhattan. How fun is or that? Brooklyn. So we also called the babysitters. They were fine with one more day. So sometimes... And they're not going to charge us the extra day either. Right? No, I'm just kidding. Okay. Come in, come in. Again. The flight just got delayed another hour. So, so we're going to go one in the airport. Yeah. Um, well, or not even just delay. If it's not taking off in an hour, they'll let us know in air if they can take off. Even if we didn't, if the whole thing just didn't even happen tonight, we it's would, coming. it probably will. We would actually get a hotel in Charlotte because we have a babysitter with a baby sleeping in our closet and they're sleeping in our bed. So, either way, it's good times. I just told Elijah I'd give him $50 if he could put his feet behind his head. Wait, both feet? Yeah, both. Yes, at the same time. Okay, well, that's, that's a stretch. Right now, <laughs> Literally. Yeah. Come on. Okay. You have to, like, lay. No, it's not good. But there's nothing else. What to else do we have to do? <laughs> We've gotten to a point where we're just like. Desperate? Yes. Okay, let's see. I like those wool socks. Those probably feel really good. Yeah, on the it's really, really cool and <laughs> breathable. Breathing, yep. Okay. Uh, okay, ready? I don't think I'm going to be able to eat anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you took it over there. Oh, see? Does it matter if you fall afterward? <laughs> Not really, that was right? A slinky shot. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, like cocoon. Slow <laughs> down the flow of traffic into all the airports. But there are aircraft you took off 12 and 15 hours ago from around the world that are still inbound, that they don't just put them on freeze and stop. Those aircraft keep flowing in. The ones from the West Coast keep flowing in. Those from C Central America keep flowing in. So they, have, they can only accept a reduced amount of traffic, but we have all these airplanes that are already airborne for five, 10, 15 hours, and they're publishing so that saying, for next time around. We have, really we're not leaving at 1045. The they're not even gonna tell us if we can leave till 1045. And it's probably not even we expected it to be lifted and we'd take off this time around but it just didn't happen thank you the thing is even if we wanted to leave our stuff's on the plane right <laughs> so what do we do i like this guy that was our pilot and he has been not only keeping us updated but like explaining the situation um and so what we just heard is our, this flight was supposed to leave at six o'clock and now they're saying at 10.45 p.m. they will update us on when we can leave. So it's just been pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed in small increments. And so now it's 9.53. Um, our stuff's on the plane. I'm sure they'd let us go get it if we wanted to just bail. Um, but we don't really know what to do. Because like I said, there's people sleeping in our beds already. <clears throat> and... Uh, I don't Just, know what flights are available tomorrow. Yeah, we don't know. So we're we got no wimps. We are no wimps. We have limbo. No we we haven't danced That's, yet. The thing is, though, oh, we can just wait. What else are we going to do? Go to a hotel room and sit there? Yeah. We'll just wait until 1045 and okay. if they don't give us... Maybe we can get our stuff so I can charge my phone. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Are you having such a great time? Oh, yeah. I'm loving it. But Some people were just clapping and now people are moving. I think that means we get to go. It'd be a really funny prank. Somebody just clapped and then we all like, oh yeah, okay. We like delayed two hours. Three people clapped and then people started grabbing their stuff. So. And I saw a couple do cartwheels. So. Yeah, it's 10:45. Um, now we haven't heard yeah, the official. Yeah, but the guy hadn't really see, gone yet. Yeah. I don't. I don't see any reason to wait in line. Yeah, I'm waiting, dude. Let's just sit. But. A lot of people have bailed, which I can't blame them. Megan's getting a back massage right now. The turns out doing the limbo when you're 40, you haven't done the limbo in a while. I didn't limbo when I'm fine. Did you successfully limbo? Yes, I, well, I, I, I made it under. I, I scraped a little bit. Yes, but I was able to do it without scraping. And then I... Okay, 
Okay, we got to our hotel in Queens, really close to some famous bagel shop I'm pretty excited about. I'm bagels with lots in the morning. How are you going to be thinking about it? I'm so tired. We slept on the plane. I did. I don't sleep on the plane. And we're sharing this little room and we don't leave for Iceland, Reykjavik until like 8 or 9 p.m. tomorrow night. So we're gonna have some fun in New York. And I think, you know, it was a bummer to sit at the airport, but I also think it's pretty great that we still get to go to Iceland for the same amount of time. But we also get a day in New York. A little side trip. So thanks for coming along. We love you guys. And don't forget to come back tomorrow so you can see our fun little day trip and go to northandsouth.com and you can sign up for our newsletter for some behind the scenes access. Talk to you later. See ya. Bye.